Hello and welcome to Process Love Candy. My name is Mark Sheard and you can find me on Instagram at Sheardo. And this is a time-lapse demonstration of my work illustrated in Procreate. Today's piece of love candy is a personal project. A little bit of fun for myself here as I illustrate a moment from my comic Flower of Road. I'll put a link below in my notes so you can find where to get the full comic from. Otherwise, I hope to see you at the comic conventions around Melbourne sometime. When we all get back to it, that is. Isolation! 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 Isolation. Ooh, isolation. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, let me get back to you right now. So I've squiggled up this drawing, I've done all my doodles, and uh, now let's get into the cleanup. I'm using a different colour here just to uh, switch off another side of my brain. I always like to use a bit of colour. Drawing in black and white all the time just can get a little bit stagnant. So using a little bit of colour every now and then will just help free you up. And you can also see the different layers and it's much easier to read. Even, even though this is the rough layer as I'm doing it in red, once I do my cleanup, it'll be a little bit easier to read my proper cleanup. Now I'm jumping straight ahead, going straight into the blocking phase. Sometimes blocking out my colours allows me to uh, think more about the shapes rather than the line work, even though this is going to be a heavy line work drawing. As I said once again, I like to try things differently. I'm still trying to work out different styles and different ways of working, which helps me be a little bit more creative and get to where I want to do quicker. The line work throughout this piece is going to be solid black. I won't be changing that at all as I need to stay in the style of my comic that I've created. This little moment is just a bit of breathing air between two characters where they discuss their future and have that classic fantasy moment of bathing underneath a gorgeous waterfall. You know, I mean, why wouldn't you? If you could, you would. <laughs> Even though my comic is for mature readers and contains nudity in it, I felt like it was important to restrain myself with that nudity. So you'll find most of the time when someone is uh, exposed they will be smaller and further in the distance I didn't want to put everything in your face so most of the time when things are closer up towards camera you, you'll find there's something blocking of you so hopefully that'll just titillate the audience a little bit more and give them always wanting that little bit more to turn the page and see if there's something more for their fancy but that'll never be there so you'll always be left a little wanting so moving on now let's get back into the background um, so I'm doing my, all my line work. I've been drawing this comic. I'm on issue two now. So issue one's finished and complete. I inked it all up by hand, but now I'm working digitally. So I've gotten pretty good at drawing the rocks and trees and fauna. It becomes kind of systematic after a while when you start to learn the patterns of how to draw rocks and stuff. The water, that was a little bit tough, you know, doing all the details. And I had to make sure that there were two separate enclosed areas. Otherwise, when you go to colour it in like this, you'll get to a point where you're colouring in the lights and you'll hit the darks and they won't crisscross over, if you get what I mean. It becomes difficult. You try it out. It's like a maze. <laughs> in the end, I need to add my special touch to the water to give it this effect. Uh, I wanted to create it kind of like rainbow water, like these are rainbow waterfalls. So, you know, this is a fantasy environment, so I wanted everything to be more fantastical in the end it kind of looks like an oil slick of some case but <laughs> the uh, rainbow waterfall falling down uh, really came out with all the nice purples and blues and teals in there I'm trying to keep my color palette all uh, in a similar range you know so there won't be anything bright yellow in here or bright red everything's from the rhodamine red to the teal fashion and, and that's about as far of the range that I'm trying to stray from here Whenever I do my reflective highlights, there's always something light crossing the wrong direction. As the water's flowing down, the, the light reflects to the left. Same as with the hair, you'll see there. Right now, all the, all the highlights are just thick and solid, and I'll go back later with my um, eraser and dull down certain sections to give it a bit of, uh, bit of fading here and there. Now I need to add some more spray coming off the water, so I just do that overall and then with my eraser knock them back. I'll have to whack lots of little sparkly stars in there and stuff, just to give it that feel. Like if, if anyone out there hasn't seen the 1986 film Legend, I highly recommend you go check it out. It's got Tim Curry in it at his best and Tom Cruise in it at his youngest and Mia Sara at her most gorgeous. Uh, so go check it out. 
It's got all the details in there that I love in fantasy. That not only the creatures and everything, but the environment in it. It's just so epic. And I, I want it in my comic. I, I try to encapsulate that within this as well. Lots of pollen and floating in the air. All the rocks have a little bit of sparkle to them. You know, this whole world has to feel different and unique and fantastical. In the end, I'm very happy with this drawing. I've signed it now, I'm quite proud of it. But the last thing I needed to add after I signed it was a few more flowers on the water. I felt like she's smelling and checking out this little flower. Um, there should be more of them lying around on the floating on the edge of the water. So it's always one last thing to do. A drawing's never finished. Never write final on your drawings. <laughs> And that being said, I am finished now. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please put a like on there and follow my channel. I hope to see you again for another one and I'll catch you in the dark side.